Good morning, everyone. This is Sister Candace. It's good to be back. Um, my devotional today is Nothing to Fear. And the scripture is out of Psalms 116. I've shared it with y'all before. Um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend. Yeah, it's out of 116, verse 15, and it says, Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And the title of it is Nothing to Fear. Benjamin Franklin said, In this world, nothing is certain except death and taxes. We can sometimes escape paying a tax, but we cannot escape death. Every one of us will die someday. In Psalms 116, the psalmist tells of the cries to God for his mercy. He cried out to God because he was afraid. The sorrow of death compassed about and the pains of hell gat upon him in verse 3. Let me read that. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the pains of hell got upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then he went on to praise God for saving him. We can't know if the psalmist was literally saved from dying, but we do know from reading Psalms 116 that God saves our souls from dying in verse 8. For thou hast delivered me, my soul, from death, mine eyes from the tears, and my feet from falling. The 23rd Psalm holds the familiar words, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Though our beliefs in Jesus Christ, we know that the saved will become. Psalms 116 verse 15 assures us that our transition from this world to heaven is precious in the sight of God. God paid the price for our eternal life through the sacrifice of his only son in death. We have nothing to fear. You know, I hadn't talked about this very much on my channel, but you know, it's it's hard to let go of that loved one, and and tell them, you know, that it's okay to go told the pastor that because as our oldest twin said, Levi, he said, Mama, he's hanging on for you and he needs to know that you're going to be okay. That he can go home. And besides burying the pastor, those are some of the hardest words that I ever, ever, ever spoke. Because I told the Lord before I went in there, he could not, I could not cry because the pastor, for the ones that don't know, he was unconscious. He had been unconscious for three days. Um, and the hearing is the last thing to go. And I knew that I had to beg God to bring up so much strength in me that I had never had before. To stand there by his bed. And say that it was okay for him to go.
and looking back, you know, I wish I had um, took more time. But, you know, we were in a rushed kind of position because of his vitals. And, um, you know, we prayed and asked the Lord what to do. And so said our goodbyes and discontinued the medicine and took the ECMO off and the trach out. And as most of you know that follows my channel, it wasn't long, within like 40 minutes. He, he was in heaven and precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. I love the book of Psalms because there's a lot of them that brings us comfort and I've mentioned this before, Psalms 56, 3. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. And a little precious lady of a, a preacher that was there, her husband, he went home to be with the Lord the next day after the pastor did. And um, he had been there over 30 days when we got there. And she done the same thing that we did. She sat in with us, with the doctors, as she asked, did I mind if she sat in, and I told her no, and she spoke up, and she said, this is the kind of decision they're making that I need to make for my husband. And so she made it, and he, he passed away the next day. It's hard when you have to make the decision of when it's time to disconnect everything and let them go. But what a day that will be when we have that reunion with our loved ones and We'll all be together again and for all of eternity. I encourage y'all to read the Psalms 116. I'm glad to be back doing my devotionals. Um, I hope y'all have missed me doing them. Um, Still having a hard time. It's going to be a hard time. Because, you know, as I told y'all, the pastor started getting sick the first week in September. So, you know, it's going to be hard all the way through December. And then you start the new year, and then there's Valentine's. And, well, before Valentine's is my birthday. And then Valentine's. And then our anniversary and Mother's Day, and Father's Day, and his birthday. So, there's just hard days throughout the whole year, really. But I think the hardest is his birthday, our anniversary, and my birthday, and, and the day he went home to be with the Lord. And there's some days I feel like that I lied about that I would be okay, because there's some days I'm not okay. But he had to hear that from me. He had to hear that I was going to be okay. And that, you know, he always told me, and I say this a lot, he always said, you're stronger than you think, Candace. So I knew me telling him that I would be okay was like me telling him it was okay if he left me. He left, you know, going to be with the Lord. I love y'all. I pray you have a wonderful weekend. Know that I love you, but the Lord, He loves you a lot more. 
Lord, we love you. We thank you, God, for another day. I thank you, God, for the rain as it's coming down now as I'm doing this. And we can't thank you enough, Lord, for sending your son to Calvary to die for our sins, God. We know that precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of your saints. And I'm so thankful, God, that I have that peace and that reassurance that he, the pastor is with you, God, and I will be with him again, Lord. I love you. I thank you, God, for my YouTube friends. Now, will you please bless each and every one that's on the prayer list, Lord. You know each and every individual. I pray, God, that you'd be with each and every situation. Be with the lost, God. Be with the ones that are grieving and that are going to have to make a decision like we had to make. God, give them strength, Lord. Help them, Lord, to get through it, Lord. That the strength you gave me, Lord, I didn't shed a tear till I left the room. And I know, God, that it was all you, Lord. It was your grace and your mercy. And you gave me strength that I never knew that I had. Lord, I thank you, God, for my YouTube subscribers. Now, will you bless them with a good weekend? Just be with each and every situation, Lord. You know what they stand in need of. Be with my personal prayer list, God. And I thank you, Lord, for loving me, Lord. Thank you for Calvary. Thank you, Lord, for rain, Lord, and for all my many blessings, God. Now bless my subscribers, Lord, I pray. Like I said, be with my personal prayer list. Lord, we'll praise you and we'll thank you for everything you do. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all. Have a good day.